Okay, so in today's lesson, we're going to look at how to find the unknown angle in a triangle uh, when we're given the length of two sides. So in the first problem, what we wish to do is to um, decide which angle it is that we're after. So it tells us here to find the angle measure of R. So that means our unknown angle, theta, is here. That makes this the hypotenuse and this one the adjacent. So if we look at our Sokotoa, Sokotoa, in this question, we have been given, in this question, we've been given the adjacent and we have been given the hypotenuse. We wish to find the cosine of the angle. So the triangle that we have all the information for is the cosine triangle. That means that the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. If we take the inverse cosine function on both sides, we get theta is equal to inverse cosine of adjacent over hypotenuse. So we need to use inverse cosine of 7 root 10 over 14 root 10. We can cancel the root 10s if we want to, but we don't have to. So we'll just add a page to our calculator. We'll add a calculator page. We'll press the treat button. We'll choose inverse cosine. Pull up the quotient. Type it in just as we see it. Let's just start out with it again. Okay. Treat. Inverse cosine. Quotient. Seven. Square root 10. 14. Square root 10. I'm going to get the answer here for 60 degrees. I get 60 degrees because I'm in degrees. Look in the top corner of your button. Watch out for getting answers like this one. Um, here I'm calculating in radians, so that's why I'm getting such a tiny angle. So if your angles are very small, you're in radians. <laughs> so Make sure your calculator is set for degrees. The answer here is 60. Type in 60 for this one. Enter. Okay, let's try this next problem. So again, we want to label the sides. This is going to be the hypotenuse because it is the other side from the 90 degree angle. We're asked to find angle F, so we'll label this one as theta, which makes this one here the opposite. Put up our Socrotoa. So, Socrotoa. In this one, we are given the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. We are trying to find the angle. So this is what we're looking for, one of these. So the only one that we have everything for is the sine. This is the only one that's complete. So if we want the sine of the angle, it's going to be given by the opposite over the hypotenuse. This means that Theta is equal to the inverse sine of opposite over hypotenuse. So for us, the inverse sine of opposite, which is 5, over hypotenuse, which is 8. Here in the question, it says to the nearest tenth. So start off with your document, set settings. Check that your document settings is in phase one and that your angle is in degrees. Take sine to the minus one of five over eight. If 
you get a answer like this one, it's giving you an exact answer. So press Control Enter, and it will force a um, approximate answer: thirty-eight point seven. Thirty-eight point seven. Last one. So, which angle do we want? It says find the measure of angle S. So this is our theta. That makes this one the opposite, and this one the adjacent. Putting up our soccer toe. Oops, <laughs> clicking on bits and pieces. Put up the soccer toe. What ones do we have? We have the opposite, and we have the adjacent. We are trying to find the angle. Sorry, I'm just here. We're trying to find. We're trying to find the angle. So it's clearly obvious that we only have the tangent function to use. And this means that the tangent of the unknown angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. This implies that the unknown angle then is given by taking the inverse tangent function on both sides. And we want inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. Putting in our values into the formula, that would give us the opposite is 7.7. .7. And the adjacent is 3.9. Trade inverse tangent function. And we've got 7.7. .7. Seven over three point nine, sixty three point one, sixty three point one degrees.